going on guys? Gibbs here for another playing with potatoes. We're at bronze 131. And in bronze right now, I am not allowed to boost is how I'm showing this off. Basically, I'm showing how you can win without playing amazing by just playing smart positional gameplay. And uh, generally, my rules are don't trust anyone. You never know how they're going to hit it. Who knows? Sometimes they'll just whiff. So just play the ball how you see it generally. Second rule, don't go into the chaos. Four cars that are about to hit the ball, there's no point of you being there too. Like a fifth car is not going to change it all that much. Just wait for the ball to pop out in one direction or another and you'll have a chance to score or at least put a, a quality hit on it while the other four are flipping in the air from, from hitting each other. So, And third rule, don't go for face-offs. Generally, no one's going to score in face-offs. And everyone wants to go for the face-off, so you can't really trust your teammates all that well. And so you just expect them to go for the face-off. Alright, here we go. Let's see what we get. We got semi-pro me, veteran, expert. Veteran, veteran, veteran. Alright, so I'm moving up in the world. So I don't need to go for boost or anything, because uh, I can't use it, so... the shot. Oh, we had a goalie. And also, guys, usually a lot of people don't play uh, goalie at all, so that was actually very surprising that guy goes to the back oh, getting bumped. Oh, I did hit it. I had to just go for a weird block there, because the first guy missed. Again, I shouldn't have jumped there, because I shouldn't expect him to actually hit the ball. Couldn't finish that one. Got the pinch though. Throw it back in the middle. So if you guys don't know what a pinch is, when the ball is right on the wall, if you hit the ball like directly into the wall, but just a little off center, then it's gonna be like multiple hits from your car to the wall back and forth, and then it's gonna pinch out of the side and it'll come out really fast. So so even if you're going really slow, you can make the ball go insanely high speeds, like higher than any shot that that you could take. Uh, just because the ball on the wall and the car are just going to be bouncing back and forth so fast that the ball is going to pick up a lot of speed and it will just squeeze out. It's kind of like if you put a pee in your, in your hand between like your thumb and your index finger or like something hard, like a little rock, and then you squeeze it out, it will like, shoot out a little bit. It's kind of the situation there. That's all I could do with that. It was so high, I couldn't use boost, but it worked out. See if our team can hit it. Nope. See, right there, I didn't expect him to hit it, so I just stayed with the, the play that I wanted to make, just bringing up the wall. Now I'm just gonna back up. The guy lets me back up. <laughs> just get ready for their clear. Alright. Up for that. Oh, he's got a little breakaway. You can hit it. Oh, you missed it. I can't put that in the air, so just lob it around. This could be an everyone miss type of ball. You're just throwing around the corner. Just keep it in their area. Try for a little nice center, but no one's there. I shouldn't expect anyone to be there, but worth a shot. Just to test out the teammates. To see what they're doing. Alright, I let them hit it into me a little bit more so I get a better angle there. It actually helped a lot. Almost actually put it on net, and that could have been surprising for the goal. Could have been a good. I think I have the first hit, so I'm just going to throw it up the wall. Because he's going to try and block it down the field. He's going to think I'm always want to hit it down the field. But if you throw it on the walls to clear it down the field, that works really well. Here, there's a little bit of chaos there, so just waiting it out. See where this ball comes out. It came out to me. Just lot, like I just kind of threw it in front of their net, but at least it's, it's on their side, and they couldn't get a good clear yet. Everyone misses, so I'll play it regularly. And just go for blocks when you can, when um, when they might have a chance at a good clear. Oh, that was a pretty nice clear there, so I can clear this back. Start up the wall. Oh, I got bumps. Uh oh, gotta get back quick. I'm gonna 
back in time. Just waiting out the hit. Oh, that was a pretty good hit. I was not expecting him to hit it that hard. Again, he went for the block away from the wall a little bit. I'm just going for gold. Alright. Actually, he had a shot in there. Just hit a little too hard, so I couldn't get through the gold. Oh, I got bumped a little bit. I don't get the ending missed. Alright, we're just keeping this a low scoring game. Nah, I was trying to bump him before he got to it. But, uh oh. Okay, let's see what happens here. Make it a goal. Oh, first one, first one, first one. Pass to myself off this wall. One more time. See if one of them finish. the angle there. If he didn't block it, it might have been. Alright, we're going overtime. See, again, a 0-0 zero, zero game where they're not getting a lot of shots. Ah, they had six shots, I guess. They were a decent amount, but ah, they weren't too threatening for the most part. So. Well, they are just getting a nice, easy goal, so as long as they don't score on you, you can't lose, so like, as long as you play pretty passively, and let the ball come to you when you can. Keep the ball in their end as much as possible, and you'll get the goal. Like, shots were even, but I felt like we had more ball control for most of that game, and they couldn't take quality shots, and eventually, they were squeezing them. Well, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I was playing with potatoes. I will be back in two days for another episode. Thanks a lot for watching, guys.